We ain't all this here thing here tonight. It's gonna be me. His strength was his speed. He was very fast. I think Archie at one time. Which he had. That makes some sort of a fighter. The ball from the south. Ali was my idol. Ali was a big thing for all young guys. Ali changed the whole fight game for all of us fighters. He's a very unique guy. He come along once in a lifetime. <laughs> was I jealous of him? Yes, the guy was tall, he was good looking. <laughs> Every Hi. Closing rapidly. Trickle of blood below it. That's Mr. Down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He doesn't know where he is. They're going to stop it, and they should. It's a knockout. Fighter, does he get that vicious? Do you get that vicious? Every time I enter the ring, I intend to down him. And if he should fall, he falls. But that's everybody's intention or we wouldn't go in. Way. Looking for Banks' right hand. It's the left hand that he's causing the trouble with. There goes Banks down. That's a knockdown, all right. A flash knockdown, less like the one that floored Clay in round one. Mandatory eight count. Goldstein is stopping the fight, that's all. Sonny Banks wants to continue. Only a few seconds had elapsed here in the fourth round. A knockout for Cassius Clay. Coming from behind after being floored in the first round. Punch to take Clay out of there. Ripping punches by Clay and Moore goes down. Cassius raises his hands over his head. Courageously, Archie gets to his feet. Moore is sent to the canvas again by a barrage of punches. For the second time, Archie gets to his feet to face the inevitable. Ripping punches by Cassius Clay, and it's all over. Clay wins by a fourth round knockout. Body in the head might follow. take a knockdown. Mandatory eight count. Ali moving in on London. A fuselage of punches by Muhammad Ali. London goes down. The referee sends Ali to a neutral corner and picks up the count. It doesn't appear as if London's going to be able to make it to his feet. The fight is over. Ali wins by a knockout and now has a record of 26 straight professional wins. Down. He was knocked down squarely with the straight right. Fighting on courage and courage alone, Mildenberger is. Now the nose is bleeding. The trade right. Oh. Teddy Waltham is stopping this bout. It's a technical knockout. Whenever they break, went for the body, Clay. 
Clay ducks, doesn't throw. Williams faints, doesn't throw. Clay comes in with a couple of light lefts as he backs away, weaving clockwise, a hard left, from the right to the low. Williams down from the right. He's up at two, but he'll take a mandatory eight count. A short turning right hook by Clay, and Cleveland Williams was down. He doesn't look hurt. He's taking the mandatory eight. We have a knockdown in round two. Here comes the champion, throws another right, misses the left, throws the right. He's got Williams hurt in mid ring. Clay with a left, a right, a left. Williams with his back to us is getting hit as well. A left, a right. Clay has him going down on his, sitting down above us. He gets up immediately. He'll take another mandatory eight. Clay threw both hands up in the air, signal of victory. But Kessler is giving the mandatory eight. Williams shakes his head. Williams has been hurt. We have 12 seconds left in the round. A left misses by Williams. Williams will survive the round. A right, a left by Clay, a left and a right, and Williams throwing his back. But the bell will ring, but they'll keep counting. The bell, and he keeps counting, and Kessler says, no, the round is over. They told us that the count would continue. Williams was flat on his back. Kessler called the end of round. By Clay, a left. Williams trying to protect himself. Can't do it. Left to the face, a left and a right. Williams down. He may not get up. Two, three, he's over in Clay's corner. He does get up at five, wobbling. This has knocked him down. But Williams now, stand-up style, backing away. Clay hits him with a left to the face. Williams doesn't quite know what to do. He's been hurt. Badly takes a left and a right in his own corner, a right, and the referee stops the fight. It's all over. Clay wins by a technical knockout in round number three. See how well the challenger rolls back from those punches. And there's Foley down. Five, six, seven, eight. Foley is up at nine. talked about Foley's courage. The champion has plenty himself. There's no question about that. Foley down from that right hand. I don't know if he's going to make this one. Six, seven, eight. He's not. No. He gamely tried to get up. And Muhammad Ali has retained his heavyweight championship of the world. One thirty left in the fight. Oh, that left floored him. It came from nowhere. Ali came through with a left. The crowd screaming. The first knockdown of the fight. He took the mandatory eight. And now Ali is behaving like the old Ali. One more knockdown in this round. The fight is automatically over. Bonavina is running. If he goes down again, it's over. Ali is the knockout winner at two minutes and three seconds by my unofficial clock of the final round. It began with a left. I'm going up to ring center. One minute remaining in this fight. Ellis is reeling. He looks defenseless on the ropes. The referee may be deciding whether he's going to stop the fight. He is stopping the fight. Jay Epson wisely ruled. Jimmy Ellis had nothing more. setting in. Fatigue as a right. Hit Buster, the same kind of fatigue that struck him down. He's up in time in the Fraser fight. Strange to see. Now he's in desperate trouble. That's it. Come out, what's the matter with you? 
And look at that. He just, I just winked at him and he just shook his head. I'll leave it. No, Angie isn't saying anything now. Whole oh, thing, I tell you. Some of the smile off Ali's face there. Ah, Ali out to finish it. Yes, it was a last stand, I think. It was Quarry's last gallant effort. Because it really is ridiculous just to stand there and take them. What a right hand. That was the punch, I think, that Ali was looking for. He teed off with that right hand. He let the left hands go. He softened Al Blue Lewis up. We could almost read that the whole time. There was no question. And he's up at nine. Eskin has only got to... You now, uh, probably Ali feels that some of that danger must have passed because he's back. But you may call the old Muhammad Ali, sprinkle it away there, really giving them the business. And it looks as though Eskin feels that that's enough. He's not going to allow Muhammad Ali to toy with Blue Lewis but he's had the professional pride of finishing this fight on his feet in the 11th round. And I think the swelling around Ali's eye, well, that is a real turn up for the book, isn't it? I think I must keep my eye on the referee. And what a, what a finish in punch there. It looks as though Ali really didn't enjoy uh, his face being marked like that. Crazy there. But he's rocking again there. He's giving it all he's got, Foster, but his legs are unhinging. Yes. I don't think he's going to get up from that, is he? He's looking at the corner and saying, I can't do it. Is he going to count him out? No, he's made it. Almost trying to climb up Ali's leg there, the left hook. This is the third knockdown. They've waived the three knockdown rule in Nevada as we come up to the end of this round. Originally, if a man went down three times, they would stop the fight. But he might survive this round, Foster. I doubt it. Now, the bell can't save him because the count will go on. And he's counting on the referee until he gets up. Just look at Bundini Brown there going crazy in the corner. One of Ali's seconds. He was warned off in New York for doing this and throwing water over him during the fight. But that right hand, that really is the killer punch. It was a long punch too. And I think it thickened Foster as much as anything. Look at that. The whole world go crazy. They'll think that this fellow's going down. But take my word for it, I'm three feet away and he's taking no notice. This must be surely one of the most unique fighters in heavyweight history. He took a punch full on the chin, he came back and he just... And threw in his best punch and knows he can't get away with it. One of the secrets, I think, of Ali's greatness is his ability to take a good punch. He was on the floor with Joe Frazier. Of course, Henry Cooper left, hooked him over in 1963. But he just crumbled there like a pack of cards, Foster. He's I don't think he can make this. I know he's uh, looked as though he'd never get up before, but he's had enough now. And it looks like a slow count, too. They're giving him every chance. No, he's out. His legs have gone like a kid in a playpen there. And be... Another sneaky right hand. This time he works over the shoulder of Foreman.
Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. By the way, Alan King doesn't give you an uninformed opinion. He was a fighter. Cut out of boys' high school in Brooklyn. Hey, he hurt Lyle. Oh, he got to Lyle. Lyle is in trouble. He hurt him with a left. Lyle went back against the ropes. He's desperately trying to cover up. Ali won't expend himself while Lyle's against the ropes. But Ali smells blood. 11th round action. And Ali in command. Lyle's eyes are glassy. He's staggering. This time Lyle is ready to go. Look at that. Muhammad Ali. This is Muhammad Ali. The way he can be even at 33. Suddenly from nowhere. The left cut to Lyle. Sent him back against the ropes. Ali in total command. Being separated now. The fight is stopped by referee Bird Hernandez. Lyle. Look at that. Good. Oh, combination. Five in a row. Left and right too fast. Cooper is down. Cooper is down. Holding that left eye. He's trying to get up. He's in good condition. That's all. It's all over. 